Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well I'm filming this makeup look right now but I do want to pop in here today also to review this new foundation from MUA Makeup Academy Pro Base Foundation Stick. I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to work. I'm going to use this on my face today with two different primers so if you want to see my thoughts about this foundation then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so um, I already moisturized my skin and this is the new Pro Base Foundation Sting from uh, Makeup Academy MUA. This is cruelty free and I have it in shade 110. So this is very interesting. It looks like a stick with a brush. I am going to try this brush, I am going to use another brush, I also am going to use the sponge too. So we'll see how this is going to work. I haven't even swatched it. Maybe the shade is totally wrong, who knows. But it's what I bought. I'm going to put the information down below about this foundation, and also price and the website where you can purchase it. But I haven't been good girl to kind of open this before I start filming. Also, I'm not really a big fan of stick foundations. I do like the hourglass one, but it's a little bit too dark for me right now, so I'm not using it. Maybe in the summer when I get more tan. Uh, I'm going to use this foundation with two different primers. I want to use it with hourglass primer on one side and also with Kaya Cosmetics kind of gel primer to see which one would spare up with, with this foundation. Uh, this brush feels kind of soft. If you can't, can I? No. It does turn around. Oh, okay. The foundation. Okay. Let's see. This doesn't s smell nice. It looks to be kind of like a thick consistency, but also feels very nice with the fingers to blend out. So it looks kind of soft too. It blurred my hand, so I'm kind of interested to see how this is going to work. This is the foundation. Let's just scoop it. How much do you get here? 7.2 grams. Uh, but we'll try it today. I already moisturized my skin, so I am going to try or use two primers. Let's go with our glass one, Veal. Let's see, we are going to wear this today. It's actually 2.30 so p.m. so I'm a little bit late. I actually started filming this morning earlier but my battery on my camera died so I had to... I didn't have a spare battery so I had to kind of charge my battery. So let's go in with this gel primer. Really like this gel primer. So this is totally two different primers. I'm definitely going to see which one is working better. So you can definitely see this is more bright than this one. This is more uh, looks more matte than this one. Let's go in. Let's go in first with this one. I know how much to apply. apply. Let's try with this brush. Oh I don't like this brush. No. No, no. I do not like this brush. It's too dense and it feels too weird. Let's go with another sponge. This is the Cash Beauty sp foundation, sp foundation brush. This one works a little bit better. Let's just apply a little bit more. I feel like I need more coverage. Looks more like light medium coverage. So this is going on very nice with this brush. It's very bright, so definitely wrong shade though, but uh, it looks really good. Let's see it with a sponge. Just go over with a sponge. I mean, not bad. 
a little bit weird though when I look very close, but it's not bad. Let's go with the other side. And this is the hourglass primer. Oh. Okay. Uh, I didn't even press hard, but this is very soft. I didn't expect that. Okay, this foundation is very soft. How should I up I look it's just getting messy. How am I going to apply apply this? This is so soft so it breaks and I don't know if I Okay. This is so weird. The top got off and now I, it's just running around here. Okay. A mess, messy, messy foundation. Let's go with the brush this side. Here it looks a little bit cakier than it does on this side. I don't know how. I'm, I think I'm going to do like this and put it on a sponge because it just turned into a mess. It's melting and it's just turning like a big mess. Let's just apply it on the hand and try, try to kind of... It's everywhere. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay. It doesn't feel heavy. It kind of looks heavy and it kind of looks really weird. Um, but it doesn't really feel heavy right now on the skin. I do definitely feel like I have a foundation, but I mean, it's not the worst. But I do not like... It looks very cakey here. I do have a combination skin, oily T-zone, so I know how this will work on dry skin, but it kind of sits on my face. It doesn't settle. It, it sits on my face and it sits a little bit funny. I am not really sure how I feel about it. It's very messy. I don't like the packaging and I don't really like I'm not really 100% sure that I do like this foundation, but it's what we have today, so let's go. Wor let's work with it. Sorry for noises. I am going to go in a little bit with a concealer, and I'm going to use kind of same texture of the concealer. So it's with this one, Shiseido, and it's in shade 201 Light. I do like this concealer, though. So the concealer went on nice. We are going to set everything, but it kind of sits really funny on my nose. It's kind of just sits there and doesn't look really good. I don't like how it looks, but we are going to work with it. It's what we have and it's what we're going to work with. Let's just use some powder. I'm going to kind of set it lightly because I feel like it's just going to look more and more cakey if I use a lot of powder. And I'm also using the Shiseido powder, translucent. It looks really weird here on my nose and um, I don't... It looks heavier on this side but it still doesn't look good. It kind of settles into the fine lines and it just sits on top of it. It kind of goes into the pores and the nose look very crack, uh, very cracky and very heavy, cakey. I don't like it. Um, it looks like it didn't blend very nice here on the nose. It kind of looks really weird. I... Mm. Oh no, it looks terrible on this side. It just looks so cakey. Well, we'll see how it's going to wear. It looks terrible right now. It's definitely going to look terrible 
later too but we are going to use some cream bronzer let's just go with cream products even if I did set everything with the powder I just feel like if I go in with more powder it's just going to look more more cakey so I'm going to go in with a cream bronzer and this bronzer works too over the powder so it won't be a problem this is the makeup make uh, makeup mecca cream bronzer and let's go with a blush I'm, I am going to go in with this Natasha Denona cream blush okay yes we are going to of course go a little bit with a highlighter this is Natasha, Natasha Denona super glow highlighter in shade yeah super glow <laughs> super glow in super glow 243 I'm going to finish my makeup look and I'll be back to tell you what I think about this foundation so far okay guys so this is the final look now let me talk about this foundation because this foundation is really weird on this side what I had the Kaya Cosmetics primer it looks more smooth and also looks a little bit better it does look cakey like on my nose and um, down here around my mouth but everything else looks very smooth on this side though where I had the yeah Kaya Cosmetics primer here looks a little bit heavier very cakey around here very cakey around my nose uh, the the forehead looks cakey either way the both sides look cakey uh, so I don't really know my chin looks terrible so I don't really like how it looks on my my skin right now and it's now 304 so it's been like 20 minutes and I applied this foundation so I don't really really like it everything on else you know the bronzer and blush everything went on smoothly I just I'm not really sure about the foundation so far but let's wear it maybe when my oils come through maybe it will look better later um, but so far so good okay I didn't really good, do, do a good job with my lipstick there there so I removed foundation I, I tried to fix my lip lipstick and I definitely just took a little bit with the sponge and everything went off so it, I have a patchy place here right now that's so terrible on my lips I do have the Cash Beauty lip liner in True Nude and also the lipstick in True Nude it's what I have and I do have the Too Faced lip injection on lip injection extreme on top so this is how the look, makeup look or everything else looks this eye look is going to be on my channel in a couple of weeks so stay for that and yeah let's go with my day hi guys welcome back let's see right now it's 8 p.m and i'll be having this foundation on for five hours and i'm going to remove it i'm not going to wear it anymore because i'm very tired and i just want to take off this makeup but let's talk about this foundation i look oily i look shiny i can feel it on my skin but it doesn't feel heavy which is kind of surprising because it it looks heavy uh, this time it looks so smooth right now the nose looks better even the uh, forehead looks a little bit better I can still see uh, how it settled into these pores but it's, it still looks okay it looks okay it looks much much better than it was before this side it looks a little bit better here where I have my blush and bronzer the nose looks terrible the forehead looks not good and this side here looks terrible uh, so I don't like it I do not like this foundation I'm not going to wear it I'm just going to get rid of it I don't recommend it I don't I think there are so many other better foundations with this price that you can try out like the Holy Greek uh, Catrice foundations are much better than this um, I haven't tried a lot of stick foundations but I'm definitely not going to wear this this is the brush is a disaster the foundation breaks and it's just doesn't look good maybe it does it looks better on dry skin but on my combo oily skin it doesn't look good I don't like it I'm not going to wear it I don't recommend it but I do love 
actually talk and review the foundation let's talk about the foundation that's the best thing ever guys that was everything thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and see you in my next video bye